So what you need is Yo, 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 what is going on guys? Back again with another video. Every cringe YouTube intro. You gotta do it sometimes. Anyways, if you're new here, subscribe. Like the video if you fucking enjoy it. And go check out my other stuff. But yeah, today I'm gonna be showing you guys how I clean my shoes, my very low end shoes, and my designer shoes. So for my low end, or not really low end, but the stuff I really don't care about, I literally either just Scrub them real quick with some some crap. So I just ordered this. Um, I got a brush with it and everything. I ordered this stuff. It's like the biggest bottle. It's like eight bucks compared to like the whole pack because I already have the brush and stuff. So yeah, that's what I'll do for basically anything I, I need to do. But for my designer stuff, like my Chanel stuff, which I'm gonna show you, they're brutally ruined. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. Clean them with the crap and the brush very lightly. And I'll show you how I do that. But for like any white shoe, like Vans, all my vans and stuff like all these shoes these ones are like all the double taps um, Gosha these ultra boost any ultra boost anything like that I honestly throw my Yeezys in the in in, in the wash that's all I do put them in like uh, my mom sprays a little stuff on them if they need it um, these are pretty white I just threw them in like recently but yeah that's what I do with those the vans are super super easy to do that with so instead of scrubbing those because I know I'm gonna wear them and get them dirty they're like my party shoes and my go out shoes, um, I'll throw them in the wash, put a little bit of detergent in, toss them in, be careful not to like ruin anything, but that's what I do, um, but then for like designer stuff, which I'll show you how bad, bad my Chanel's are, and I think my Vapor Maxes are pretty beat as well, but my Chanel's are pretty bad, but I'll show you guys how to clean those, which is basically with crep, the crep brush, I'll let them dry, and then I repeat, if they're that bad, which I think I'm gonna have to do probably two or three times because the Chanel's are B to crap from my vacation in uh, Fort Lauderdale. So let's get to that right now. These are all the shows. Alright, first off, I'm in my bathroom. So that's that's the, the 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 new look for right now, but I wore these probably once on the trip, so they're going to be in pristine condition, and I usually keep these pretty good anyways. But uh, I like to put a shoe tree inside of them, so I'm gonna grab that in a second. But I'm literally just gonna scrub these down, scrub the bottoms down, and then these will be done very quickly. Then I got I'll show you what's good with everything else. So what you need is crap brush. Like, you can get the soft bristle one. I honestly just use this one. It works on my Chanel's, even though they're like they're all suede. But yeah, crep thing, brush. I use this, barely. I just use the towel. So yeah, let's clean these up real quick. These will be very quick. I'm just gonna scrub them down the side and stuff like that in the bottom. And then I'll show you guys how we actually do to the real, real beat up stuff. As you see, the suede's all dirty and everything. They messed up. These ones are pretty fucked up too, I think. It'll be easy to clean. All cleaned, all nice. Let them dry. Now, these are a little dirty as you can see on the white. I'll show you before and after both. If you guys saw the other ones that were clean. I don't know if I'm gonna scrub the bottom because I wear them a lot, so no point of that. I'm gonna try to get that stain out on the thing, that may be tough. Mostly I'm going for like the clean sides, the air and stuff like that, the back. So yeah, let's clean them.
Now, as you can see, the swoosh is all good. The sides are all nice and shiny. They're obviously wet still. No more like scuffs and crap on the back. I'm not gonna do the bottom that much because I wear them a ton, so they're still pretty clean. But yeah, look how, look how white it is now. I also got that the stain up here. So, and also there's some stains over here. They're all gone. And yeah, that's how easy it is. Finish up this pair. And then it's time to go to the, sh the BBB Chanel's. All shiny and new again. The swoosh, everything is pristine condition. Got the stains out of the tongue again. You can see that. There we go. These back to new. Let them dry. On to the dirty boys. Now these, they got some wear over my vacation for sure. They are black on the suede as the front. So this is the before. It's bad. So it's all suede on the outside. This is luckily like easy to take off, but they got beat. Beat to crap. So these ones, they need some good, good cleaning. I'll show you exactly what I do. This is exactly what I just did to those shoes. And the suede will dry up and they'll still be nice, in my opinion. I've already washed them twice and, or cleaned them twice, and the suede's still soft. So, gonna keep doing the same shit. So, this is how I, this is how I clean my thousand dollar shoe. There we go. As you can see, it's darker because this is wet, but it's clean. All the white's clean. Remember the white is all dirty. The back was all dirty. Now it's all clean again. Now we let these dry. I'm gonna hit the laces one more time because I see a little bit of dirt, but it'll come off the laces too. So you don't need to take off the laces. Like that's a force. It's not that serious. You're gonna wear them again. You're gonna get them dirty. Just clean it like this. You know, there you go. One stop down, and then I'll show you guys how it dries up. Could be dirty right there. See the suede still, it's still soft. Yeah, let them dry. Part two, look at that. Look at the difference. These ones are clean. Just the white, like, look at the white. Like the crap, crap works. The suede is the hardest part, and I'll show you it comes out. Most of the suede is super dark, obviously, because it's wet. That's the back now. 
clean as a whistle. Sadly, what the heck is it? Piece of towel? Dude, a piece of towel is inside my fucking shoe. Right there. Back to new, man. That is sadly not dirt. It is a like slice, so that's what it is. But but all that if you saw before, like you saw how gross this was. Now it's all just back to normal. Crep killed it. These two, the white was ruined. Now they're back. The tongue was ruined. Now they're back. It's all it takes, man. Boom, boom. This if you need it, and then towel. So washing it off now. Just rinse it out. And you're good to go, man. Let it dry. With your stuff, your kit, your kit, which I have right here. I open it up. Put it inside, even though it's wet. Do that. Just let it dry. Put that on top. Let it dry. Clean up the workstation. That's why I put a towel down. Because then all it is is just boom, boom, boom. Good to go, clean. I'm gonna put two trees down. I'll show you when they're dry.